I am so proud to stand before this august audience, even though it is virtual, and I would love to be there with you tonight, because it is such an honor to be invited and an even greater honor to be inducted into the Harless Hall of Fame. Attending these occasions has always been a highlight for me as individuals and groups who are committed to raising the bar on education in West Virginia are lauded for their efforts, including those amazing individual teachers who light the spark of what can be in our students, many of whom we know come into the classroom with a lack of hope or purpose or even identity. Tonight, is certainly no exception as we pay tribute to the West Virginia Public Education Collaborative. They are truly a living, breathing example of Margaret Mead's quote, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed individuals can change the world. In fact, it's the only thing that ever has. From a conversation of two, came an inspiration of changing silos into pipelines, not only in the education world, but also in the business world, the local schools, the state elected officials, and the federal counterparts who all have common goals, values, and aspirations for strengthening the quality of education and thus the quality of life for our West Virginia students of all ages, their families and their communities. The founding group who became the initial board and some of whom continue to serve in that capacity to the new members who have been added annually, we have had the awesome privilege of sharing energy, vision and transformational ideas across all sectors. At the national level, Robert Mahaffey, Executive Director of the Rural School and Community Trust, WVU, Marshall, and Shepherd University, State Board of Education members, agencies that serve business and education, local leaders and teachers, and Tara Beth, your predecessor, Stan Maynard, all have come to this table to serve together. The coordination and orchestration is masterfully done by Donna Peduta, our executive director, and Scott Rotruck, our chair. However, we would be remiss if we did not also extend credit and appreciation to former Governor James Hunt of North Carolina and the Hunt Institute for providing a template for what we could and did become. To E. Gordon Gee, president of WVU, for being so integral in this inspiration, and the Benedum Foundation for believing and supporting us from day one. It does take a village. From our inception six years ago, through our just completed fifth Focus Forward Forum, we have never stopped visioning, not for today, but for the future, always looking for where we should aspire to be rather than just accepting where we are as the standard. PEC's mission is founded on the concepts of literacy and STEAM, which builds both the foundation of learning and the models of science, technology, engineering, arts, and math that allow the opportunities and creativities of individuals of all ages to grow and develop. And we do that by all working together. I am so proud of what this collaborative is accomplishing together. And it is indeed an honor and a pleasure for me at this time to publicly induct the West Virginia Public Education Collaborative into the 2023 Harless 
Hall of Fame. Congratulations. I love you all. <laughs>